Move, dude! The bison is behind us! Alrighty, so we are here at the farm at Walnut Creek, my wife and I both today, and uh, we've been up into the Amish country area of Ohio multiple times and seen this, but never actually been to it. It looks like it kind of has like an exotic feel to it, but also kind of a quaint Amish feel. And uh, normally they have, but, but it's tough to tell exactly on that. So, so obviously we just wanna try to check it out today, but uh, they have normally an option for you to ride a wagon through like just a drive through area, but they're not, they don't have that open right now with some of the restrictions, but you can still drive your car through it. So we're gonna go check it out and see what it's like. And um, I, I don't know, then we'll, we'll see afterwards. All right, we're finally entering into where the animals can come up to the vehicle. We'll see how much access we get to them. All right, these guys know what's coming. They are just sitting, waiting. Just come on, bring us the food. All right, we'll try to give you a little bit here. Okay, you want, you want some? You want any of this? Oh, not my hand. Oh, mercy. <laughs> just going at it. There you go, you like that? You enjoying that? There you go. In addition to these guys, also swamp water buffaloes, true to their name. One, two, three, four, five, six of them, literally only in the swamp right there. <laughs> Ugh. Yum. Oh my. <laughs> oh yeah. Get it? Oh Get my it? Goodness. You can roll your window down? No. What? Come on. <laughs> Come on over here, man, here. Oh no, I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that. I'm not, I'm not, I can't do it. Oh, that dude is big and stinky. Oh my word. That's a big dude. That is one big guy. I was not, I was not ready for that. That is bold. They are going for it back there. They are letting him in, or, or at least he got in. I don't know if they're letting him in. All right, I just, I wasn't ready for it. He was pretty big and pretty dirty. Um, that, that was a lot. That was a lot there. Now here's a little less aggressive, a little, little pot belly pig. Pigs in the water? Oh, that's what's over there. That's pigs over there. I thought that was, from up on the hill, I thought those were more of like the buffalo. Oh, look, there's the little, oh, oh are you gonna feed him? There you go. There you go. There's like three different type of ostrich type things. Emu, I thought it was an emu. They've got a Rhea, an emu, oh, and an ostrich. That is a pot belly for sure. And, and that chin, that chin, there's just a lot going on there. My question is, how do you know how much to feed animals like this when people are constantly driving through, feeding them stuff that's approved, sure, but like, do you just trust that they're gonna stop eating once they've had enough? Um, does the place itself still put out food for them in the morning or in the evening and let them just grab as much as they need? Like, how does that work exactly? I, I don't know. That's a cool like rock pile for them to get them. That's a lot of rocks. I mean, they're not there now, but. That would be cool if they were up on that. Is this a different guy or just a slightly different pigmented? I mean, he's looking very similar. Oh, we got a nice little, uh, <laughs> this little cow cow. Hold on to the bucket. Hold on to that bucket. He is just gnawing on it. Get it. You gotta take it. You gotta take it. <laughs> oh, good. You got some for you inside, even. Wonderful. Well, it looks like I've got my own delightful experience coming up anyway, because uh, he's right there. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it. Okay, here he comes. All right, dude. Oh my, you are a big man. You are large. Oh my oh, goodness. Tongue. Oh man, I couldn't do it. It was a huge tongue. Let me see it. His tongue is massive. Oh man, ew, oh junk, ew. oh junk, dude, 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 <laughs> get away! Oh man. <laughs> yeah, social distancing, dude. <laughs> oh, the tongue. Wow. There is drool in my window. Oh, control part. Yum. All right, we got another one. I think we've had our experience with this guy. Just smile and wave. Hey, bud, hey, 1915. We're just gonna keep rolling. 
They're big. It is specifically advised not to feed things with long horns. So I'm not wimping out on it. Don't look at me like that. I'm not wimping out on this guy. He is tall. I think it would literally be dangerous and I don't want to mess up the van. Oh man, he's a big guy. I wish you could see it in the back of that truck. Like he's just huge. He's just a big boy. Nice. Hey, hey, what do you think? <laughs> Do you want to feed her? I say her, I mean, she doesn't have horns. Um, I don't think so. Also just large. These guys up here are literally trying to like take a stand. Like people are having to drive around them. And that guy just kind of like nailed a car. Um, those ones over there, that one. We've had ones like that hit our van before. Okay, dude. Oh no. <gasps> dude. He just whacked us, the old bison did. And uh, what are you doing, man? Dude, just let us through. Windows are up. We're not feeding you. Dude, he's coming around on your side, dude. Oh gracious. <laughs> we were getting we were getting stampeded there. That was kind of crazy. Dude, he's coming at us. They are coming at us back there. Like not letting us get away. Whew. I was, uh, was kind of fearing for the van there for a second. Keep on walking, yeah. We're not feeding here. Good grief. Good grief. Yeah, we'll just... There's that guy. He's the one that just hit us. No wonder it said enter at your own risk. They, they're not kidding. Enter at your own risk. So the elk wasn't aggressive. He's just walking, checking things out. That buffalo right there, that bison, sorry, literally has hit multiple vehicles. Thankfully, he doesn't have too long of a thing. He's a little stirred up. This guy's walking. It's tough to tell how aggressive he is. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> is that a thing? Okay. Okay, we're, we're not interested in you, dude. We're not interested in you. Dude, hey, Mr. Elk, dude, move, 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 dude. The bison is behind us. Oh, my. And the little, poor little pot belly pig just getting stuck in the way. That's Meanwhile, feeling. this poor common eland, like, that thing is not just, like, grown the wrong way. It's actually kind of dangling. I, I think it's actually moving a little bit. Eh, maybe not. Poor guy. Well, see ya. We're not interested in longhorn things right now. Oh, this, and then and then this guy. Really? He could easily be a casualty of people just avoiding these big old things, right? And I don't know if these people up here are like stirring them up. I'm not saying in a bad way, but it's like, I mean, you know, full exposure. They can't roll their windows up or hide. And then by the time we get up to everybody, like everybody, all these guys are... Although this elk has followed for like probably, I don't know, almost 100 yards now. The fact that I'm stopped while you're next to my window does not mean that I'm wanting to feed because if those things get in here, that is, dude, what are you, what are you doing? Uh, pop my thing? <laughs> no. Okay, good. Good. Ah, ah. Window down just enough to, no. Ah, not interested in that. Just put my, just put my, I don't know if my mirror will go the other way. Oh, I mean, they're not aggressive, but you know, they, they almost seem a little, lacking self-awareness of ah uh, where they're <laughs> of where those things are uh, gonna come in collision with yeah i guess we'll go when you guys let us go um yeah no we're just gonna dive right through here if they let us go yeah don't mind oh my yeah yeah just stare at me like that that makes me feel better mercy don't whack the car you know pot belly pigs in the way hey meanwhile this guy is not as aggressive and uh, just kind of chilling right. I like the long hair, bangs in the face, taking a leisure time. We're for that. We are for that. And then, you know, just some Holstein cattle. Now, llama, I am interested in. Hey, man, you look a little cooler. Oh, those teeth are kind of scary, though. This is good. Oh, no, oh, no. oh, boy, just keep driving. Oh, mercy. Oh, don't come in the car. And the last leg. Oh, my. He's uh, got some features that are, these are not as wide, but they're big. I mean, I'd be upset too if everybody else was getting fed and then people are just trying to zoom by you or if they're not, they're just sitting next to you with their window down too. But These guys are um, big. I like the llamas. I really do. Now this is the way to feed the giraffes. I was wondering how, but the fence is tall enough so that you don't get like, you know, all up in your vehicle. But the back of a truck is certainly ideal. Oh yeah. Oh mercy. All right. Let's give him a little shake. Oh, hey. Hey, yeah, come on over. I mean, you're not gonna be able to reach me for sure, but it's cool to see you up close like that. Oh! 
Wow, that uh, apparently scared him. He's young. <laughs> Don't... <laughs> oh, mercy. Can you reach your tongue in? Yes, you can. You're like dumping it. Are you trying to throw it? Or is that just your best way of getting into it there? Oh, mercy. Are you trying to throw it on the ground? Oh, look at that tongue. Sun right behind you. So that's delightful, huh? You got a long tongue. Use it. Yeah, use that long tongue. Nice. Don't bite my hand off. Do you want some? No? You gonna stand me up? Don't look at me like that. Don't. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Really? He's just staring He's you like, down. Really? Really, dude? <laughs> oh my word. All right, it is not an exaggeration to say that we've seen 150 to 200 of these deer. And there's the first one that has there we go, antlers like that. A few nubs on some, but that was the first one like that. All right, we were specifically told not to feed the zebras, as they will bite. So don't worry, I'm not about to feed them, but I just want them to get closer. Can you just put some on the ground? Here. Okay, you're not getting in the car. Oh, mercy. Apparently, they would bite? Look at those stripes, so defined. I can't say I've ever been this close to a zebra. Look at those whiskers. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, the birds are just, well, they just, uh, is it thinking and then about to pounce again? <laughs> He's like, no, I'm good. I'm done. Why are you going? What's it doing? <laughs> Back and he's like, no, I don't like you guys. Can you see the little bit of blue on this one's neck? Put put that put that bucket out there. We only got a tiny bit left. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yikes. You want some of it? Oh, those look sharper. <laughs> that face looks kind of like. I'm afraid for my fingers. I know, right? That face just looked meaner. Okay, so first impressions now that that's over. <laughs> I think quaint is not necessarily the word for it. I mean, no. exotic in a sense. I mean, not like exotic. Sometimes when I think of exotic, I think of like colorful. But I mean, certainly not quaint in the sense of not much going on. I don't know if it's normally that active. I don't know if we were overreacting to some of it. I think if you are <laughs> concerned for the condition of your own vehicle, it's not completely dangerous, yeah. but you're going to be very concerned if you have issues with blood pressure or heart rate perhaps <laughs> like i mean i wasn't freaking out but there were times where it's oh, like how are we gonna do crazy. i mean um so, so so that made it interesting that made it great i mean and was, i think like 2.2.3 miles to drive through and i think it took us about an hour and 15 minutes i mean we've been on like uh, like the african safari wildlife park up in uh, northern ohio and that one takes like i don't know 15 20 minutes maybe a little longer depending on how slow you go how how long you stop at places and we could have been there longer like we could have stopped longer for certain things, but an hour and 15 minutes, that was great. I'm not sure if this is gonna be like the halfway point in the video, there is area we can walk through. I'm not sure how much of that footage that I got previously is actually usable. So if it's not enough usable footage, then we may jump in the rest of this. If it is enough usable footage, then it's probably the end of this video and we'll show the rest of it later on. Uh, damage report on the vehicle is fine, okay? So we're good to go, just a little bit of dirt and slobber marks and different things. Otherwise, if this is the end, then we'll catch you next time on Escape to the Zoo.